In this video, I'm going to show you different picking techniques. Okay, and there's four different picking techniques. We've got something called directional picking. I want you to really understand what that means. And then sweep picking. This is a advanced technique. And it's a very, very powerful technique because it's going to solve a lot of problems in your playing if you practice this. And then we also have the inside picking and outside picking. Two terms, inside and outside. I'm going to explain what those are. And we also have string skipping. Okay? Now, these four different techniques are very quite uh, easy to practice. All right? But you need to really get what's going on. All right, so for directional picking, imagine, in fact, I'll even talk about sweep picking first. Sweep picking means that you're playing one string here, okay, and then you're continuing your pick down across multiple strings. And what you're doing is you're just kind of dragging your arm up If you've practiced thumb muting and the muting positions that I told you, this should be very easy for you to implement into your playing. I'm doing one long upstroke. And all the motion comes from my arm. I'm not moving anything in my fingers or in my, my picking hand or anything. It's very easy to build speed with this technique. Okay. Directional picking is sort of an extension of sweep picking because obviously when you're going down across strings like that, you can see I'm going one direction, one direction across strings and coming back up one direction. Now imagine if you stop on string four, for example, do some picking and then you keep going stopping on string two and keep on going, coming back, stopping on string three and doing up like that. The combination between picking on a single string and the sweep picking technique is called directional picking because you're basically making two downstrokes at the same time, down, down, and then sticking to that string and then coming back up, up, up down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Okay, so it's two downstrokes, two upstrokes. All right, and now that is very powerful because guess what? If you do any other type of motion, why would you go down and then up? You know, down, up. That would be called outside picking. All right, but we're gonna talk about that a little bit later. But it, kind of see the, the motion, the extra motion we have to make, you know, then everything very, becomes very excessy and tension and more motion. So down, down is better. It's simple. Down, 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 up, 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 up. That is your exercise. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Notice how I am not moving very much this picking hand, I'm all the motion comes from the arm. Pretty cool stuff. All right. Again, it's an extension of sweep picking because sweep picking is across multiple strings. All right. And directional picking is uh, sort of just across two strings. The next string down, next string down, up string, up, up. All right. Again, your exercise is going to be down, down. And for sweet picking, down, down, you know, keep on going down. Uh, imagine like you got a baseball bat and you're swinging it as two balls, two separate balls are coming at you. One, two. 
and then you have to take one stroke to hit both of them. One after the other. Okay? That's how it works. Down, down. Down, down. Down, down. Up, up. Up, up. Okay? And if you're muting good with your thumb and with these three fingers, then you can see that you only have one string ringing out at any one time. You need to work on that. Okay? Now, inside and outside picking was what I was talking about before. What we need to think about is economy of motion, really. When you're playing, uh, for example, I'm on string one and two here. I'm playing a downstroke on string one. Down, and then up on string two. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now when I'm coming down on string one, and then I'm coming back up for string two, well, I have to cross over the string anyway. Okay, most people will actually go, you know, uh, up on string one, down on string two, up on string one, down on string two. It's sort of a, you know, up, down, up, down. That's outside picking. But you see, we're already, and this is why directional picking is, we're already crossing over string two. Why would you cross over string two where you can just hit it on the way over? That would be directional picking. Up, up. Okay, again, if you're starting with a downstroke on string one, down, and you're coming back up for string two, down, up, you're crossing over the string, up, so hit it on the way over, you know, down, up, instead of going down and down again, or something like that. This is called inside picking, where you just go up, down, up, down, up, down, or down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and you're sort of alternating. Okay, outside picking is the opposite direction. You do down on string two, up on string one. Okay, it's a little, it's like scooping. Okay. And it makes a lot more jittery mess and stuff, but it's kind of effective if you do sort of palm muting. It's kind of nice with this. It's still a good technique. I want you to practice both. I want you to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down on string one, up, string two. Down, string one, up, string two. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Then I also want you to go down on string two. Maybe even mute this here, palm muting. Down on string two, up on string one. Down, string two, up on string one. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. I want you to do both. Okay? Now we've got string skipping to think about because this, when you're string skipping, you need to use one of those three techniques. There's only really three ways that you can change strings. You can either do directional picking, well, sweet picking. <laughs> These are all the different ways you can change strings. Directional picking, and you know, if you string skip, you know, down, down. Down, 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 down. You're skipping over string three here. You're going from four to two. All right, down, down. That kind of works. You could also go up, down, up, down, up, down. And that would be inside picking. Or down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up for outside picking. Now the real trick here when you're ch string skipping is that your hand needs to make an arc, okay, over the string that you're not playing. It needs to make a nice little arc. You need to clear the string. However, you don't want to take your hand very far away from the guitar. You just need to barely clear the string. So when you're practicing this, I want you to really study here, inside here, and making sure that you're not you're just barely crossing over, barely crossing over, everything's very close to the strings. Down, 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 or up, 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 or down, up, down, up, down, all the different directions, all the different possible combinations because when you're playing fast and you're not thinking about what you're doing, 
you want to be able to execute all the different types of picking. Again, we covered directional picking. Now you should know what that means. When you're changing strings, you follow through. Okay, so it just keeps the same direction. Direction. You don't change directions, which would be outside picking or inside picking. Those two change directions when you're changing strings. Sweep picking is basically directional picking across multiple strings. You keep that direction going, and you keep it going back. Inside picking, up, down, up, down. And outside picking would be down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay? That's it. That's all you really need to know about these four picking techniques. Also, string skipping. We forgot about that. <laughs> and string skipping. Very, very important to practice. And you're going to practice both directional picking and inside and outside picking when you're doing the string skipping. So everything uh, is combined. Also, when you're doing string skipping, it will improve your accuracy, which we'll talk about in a later video.